I am on time. Cable? Shit. Oh. Also, this music is really loud. Hello, Zmax. Welcome, welcome. Like this. <laughs> there we go. Where is it? Where's the alert? Also, let let me continue just so it quiets down a little. That was loud. Where's Where's the alert? I hope it will come in a second, but um, thank you so much for the resub, Minox. Two months already! Holy shit! Ah, there it is! Hi. Oh, that was actually perfect timing. That got very loud just now. You the real MVP says the tier 3 sub. <laughs> Anyway, this is a little more uh, quiet. Um, I need to do this. I need to post that I'm live. And I'm actually on time this time. Okay. Um... Something else I wanted to do. By the way, how long is this game? And how long have I played it so far? I've played it for about three-ish hours. Oh, this is actually a long game, apparently. So I guess it will still fill, like, two or three more streams. Okay, because I was already, like, considering what could my next game be, but maybe I will not do that yet. Okay. Okay. Oh my god. You were able to snowboard today, I'm actually jealous. Well, not of the snowboarding part, but of the... A lot of snow part. <laughs> like, I haven't seen any snow this year, and that actually makes me sad. Or like last year, like this winter. And that's actually such a shame. I love snow. Okay, I think I'm ready. Make this a little brighter. Mm -hmm. This is good, right? And maybe a little higher. Like this. Yeah, there we go. Okay. That sounds great. So, where were we? I'm glad for you. Happy for you. I'm I'm glad and I'm happy for you. Jesus man, get your hands off. Only Franny this. Shut up. Move. I will do no such thing or maybe I will actually. Oh, I'm here. I know this place. This is where the explosion happened. Oh, yeah. Yes. Your mind is preoccupied with the explosion, Mr. Black. The Pandora can only process what your brain offers. Concentrate only on the memory at hand. I'm trying. Then try harder. <laughs> try harder, okay. No worries, Chief. Glad to be aboard. Not a hair on her hand. Trust me. You brought me here. Fuck you. Red? Hey, Red! What the hell is this? None of this makes any sense! Oh. 
You are here because you have formed a mental link between this man and the explosion. The Pandora is trying to decode the message. Your mind is sending. Focus. Hello. The Pandora unit is offering you a pathway deeper into your memory. Pursue this. Focus and proceed. I will do that. I will go to this very depressing path. It is your fault. It is your fault. Red letters on black wall. Reminds me of a short story I wrote at some point. A very depressing one. But we've had that topic before. Also... <laughs> Hello, Dark. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> Human memory is unreliable at the best of times. I need you to work with my technology, not against it. Take in your surroundings and get as much information as you can. I, I'm i still not over the fact, uh, like, at how many games that I played in the recent... Well, how many of my recent games contain some sort of bickering with memory, going into old memories and stuff. Like, even the escape room game with Nell. Even that, like, come on. I already know that Little Nightmares will be one of my next games, and I also know that that one doesn't have any of that. But I'm talking about new games, about, like, first-time experiences. Okay, Dark. Okay. I did not expect you to go into that direction, but okay. Hello, neighbor. Which is a game I have never played. Um, but, um, yeah. Feel free to, to, to do that, you know. Do your thing. <laughs> there we go. Thank you so much for the gifted sub, Minox. <laughs> the sniper is there. I love that Rinali came up with the sniper analogy. It's actually perfect. It, it fits so well. And CRJ isn't here, so they can't complain about it. <laughs> now you can use my very, very cute emotes and stuff. And thank you so much for the follow, Dark. Okay, what do I have to... Oh, right, I have, like, um, I could... Um, I, I, I forgot that the phone... What the hell was that? Um, that the phone has different modes and stuff. Maybe I have to look around with, like, a uh, black light or, or something. Oh, I have an inbox. Black, where are you? You're, you've promised to help me. Off. Carving the slops. Huh. Wait, there... Is there any evidence here? Is this evidence? Oh, there we go! Okay! Wait, no? But, like... Oh, now it's evidence! Okay. Yeah, the thing is, by the way, this is a very cool effect, one that I like a lot. Again, uh, my my personal weakness for like breaking the physical laws and stuff. Um, yes, the thing is. I, I, I thought I should probably say that instead because like dark is like a description and the second word is like the actual name, you know. But I'm not even gonna try. I can't speak Dutch and I don't wanna butcher it, so. What the hell happened here? No evidence? Oh, there. 
Wait, no evidence? What the hell? Here? Is my memory being deleted? Oh. Identification unconfirmed. Oh, look at that. His entire face. There goes any dental match. Shot off his hands too. His fingerprints are a bust. Professional job. This many stiffs and no ID. We can link this to a hundred cases. So, uh, drug dealer is then. What do you reckon? Adam's family or one of my Turner's lot? Well, uh, well, don't worry. Decide later. Get the uniforms to bag it all. I'm getting a little peckish. There's that new calf opened up next to the neck. You fancy it? Brent. What is this? You are trying to process too much, Mr. Black. The Pandora cannot keep up. Concentrate only on the man you came here to find. Sounds Mr. Black, right there. Use your scanner. Identify and consolidate your memory. Who is that man? Pandora will do the rest. Mm. There. Status deceased. There's me thinking we can sort this out, my like animals. <laughs> you wanna do it, then at least look me in the fucking eye! Sir, we have a name then. Jasper Prado. Boy, here's the keys, you're driving. Come on, Chief. Why have I always got to drive? Rang, son, rang. I am... How do I know this? You don't. The Pandora is cross-referencing your memory with any police files in the database. This memory is breaking down. You must move on. I did not Google what evanescence means, but yes. <laughs> um, it sounds a lot like German or Swedish. Um, well... Okay, let's be completely honest. I've heard a fair bit of Dutch. I've even tried learning it at some point. But... I still don't feel confident enough in my skills. I know that I would probably cr pronounce it pr correctly, but I don't even want to try because I don't want to risk butchering it. That is my little pet peeve. Blood test analysis came this morning and the victim's DNA matches the DNA we found on the blast site. Chadwick claims that some location was previously used by local junkies, so Prado as a drug addict and a dealer who wasn't necessarily involved in the kidnapping, Bart Fair. Um, fart bear. Shit, that was from here. Fart bear. Yeah, that's good. Um, <laughs> Evanescence is a rock band. That I've never heard of. Hi, others. Why don't they... N Do I know others? Probably not. Shooting victim identified. Why are they not here? Why don't they say hi to me personally? Huh? <laughs> Shooting victim was found in the warehouse near Route 10 last week. The police found out who he was by Brian Scott. Last week we reported on the shocking discovery of a corpse in the abandoned warehouse near Route 10. The body of a 40-year-old man was found... Fuck. Oh, Leafy. Good old Leafy. He is a fucking 30-year-old man. <laughs> um, the body of a 40-year-old man was found lying on the uh, floor of the main hall in the warehouse, the victim having been ruthlessly shot from close range. According to a source, half of the victim's f half of victim's face, victim's face had been shot off, making him unrecognizable. Um, the Walking Dead comic anyone? This did not happen in the show, only in the comic. Uh, so, you know. 
Police concluded that, that the victim's name was Jasper Prado, a known mercenary and ex-military man with no official place of residence. Police officers investigating Prado's case, Bart Fair and Hector Chadwick, refused to comment comment on the case. At this stage, it is still unknown if Prado was the only victim found in, on the scene. By the way, another thing that only happened in the Walking Dead comic and not in the show is, for example, Rick's hand being cut off very early on, actually. I think in terms of the show it would be like season 3, maybe? So pretty early on. His hand was cut off. He spent the rest of the comic without his hand. That's a thing that never happened in the show, probably for like money reasons. Like imagine removing the hands in every single shot for like how many seasons. But still. And it's the same with like a half blown off face. By the way, the Walking Dead comic, oh my god, is that a masterful comic. Holy shit, I ate that thing up. Did I say face off? No, I mean like half of the head was just blown off. Yes, I asked for it. I didn't actually... Yeah, okay. Oh, welcome. Hello. <laughs> Hello, SR. <laughs> Hello, welcome. <laughs> Zmax, that is some Ed Gein shit. Oh, and also, by the way, if you don't want to get a major spoiler, and I do mean MAJOR spoiler, don't Google for the, the Walking Dead thing. A ballistic analysis conclusion. Examination of both crime scenes, a Brahms Grove kidnapping Jasper Prado case, as well as uh, co uh, collecting and an analyzing the physical evidence uh, related to weapons and ammunition during both criminals' investigations, criminal investigations, leads to the conclusion that the shooters were w used weapons produced by advanced defense strategy. How unexpected. Um, also, by the way, little fun fact about Ed Gein. Both the movies Psycho and Texas Chainsaw Massacre, like the, the killers in these movies, are based on Ed Gein. This place again. Yes. Your mind is definitely throwing up some kind of link between this Jasper Prado and the explosion. I'm surprised it's this pronounced, though. As if something is bothering you. Who is Jasper? Comes from a working class family. Father was a truck driver, mother worked in a in a in a pub. And thank you so much for following SR. Hello, welcome again. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Bright kid in school, though quickly lost all interest in education and started looking for fun elsewhere. Mostly partying in nightclubs and smoking with a uh, smoking pot with friends. Okay. Jasper's last connections, or past connections. He was in the. In the army, 1994 to 96, then sp then started work as a mercenary and drug dealer after being discharged. These days, he makes most of his money dealing hash, uh, not pot and ecstasy, but still keeps in touch with old friends. Mm, I think there is nothing else to read here. Okay, let's let's move on. By the way, there is this comic called um Mark. For God's sake, hurry! I'm trapped. You can stop this. My readings indicate that you've engaged with an earlier point in the memory. But we still don't know why you're here. I was here to stop Jasper getting killed, I'm sure. Careful, Black. You're dealing with raw theory. Pay attention to the facts only. You risk imminent corruption if you continue this course. Fuck you, Red. 
I know why I'm here. Thank you so much for the second gifted sub, Minox. <laughs> oh my god. Um, by the way, a comic that I desperately want to read as soon as I get my hands on it. Huh, this mannequin again. It's called... Oh, I, I think the name is... Do you know what Eddie Gein done? I think that's what it's called. And yeah, it's basically the story of Ed Gein. And uh, it is supposedly very, very gruesome, like very dark stuff, very much adult audience uh, only. And I really, really want to read it. Um, case reopening application form 2015. We're back to 2015, the 20th, not this, not the 22nd. Ed Gein is a uh, was a serial killer, and both movies. Hitchcock's Psycho and the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, both of these killers are based on him, which is kind of weird because they are so vastly different. Which kind of tells you that something that's based on something doesn't necessarily have to be that thing. Um, anyway. Yeah, he was a twisted killer and I would even argue that Texas Chainsaw Massacre comes closer to the truth than Psycho. Um, yeah, groups. But you know of their existence. But yeah, I, I, yeah, it's fair, that's fair. Um, and I don't think I want to go into too much detail, but let's say Texas Chainsaw Massacre is, as the name suggests, actually, as both names suggest, like, this one is very much focused on brutality, whereas Psycho is very much focused on the psychological aspect of horror. Um, I'm sorry, Zemex. Are there good ones? Due to new evidence linking Jasper Prado's death to the Bromsgrove kidnapping, Prado's DNA was found near the blast site. I hereby request reopening both cases, since they appear to be linked. But yeah, uh... I'm th I think it, it's called Do You Know What Eddie Gein Done? Which f sounds very weird to me, like I would say what Eddie Gein has done or something, but no, it's called What Eddie Gein Done. Um, and that's apparently even closer to, like, closer to the actual truth, like his actual story as far as I know. And yeah, very dark and twisted and, and yeah, stuff. The ones that get caught are still not good. They still did the things they did. We have a bunch of memories here. Wait, let's check this one out for... Oh, I can't. There's no evidence here. Oh, but I can read this note. Yeah, these are just some... Yeah, we have sensitive information removed, 1995 to 97, and then traffic, driving 15 above limits, forcible entry and detainer, class C drug possession, class C drug possession, again traffic, class B drug possession. Fredo's, uh, Fredo's car, evidence in case number... yeah. I guess they are bad at their job, I guess, even though some do want to get caught, that's also a whole thing that some like even without, even like unconsciously actually want to get caught because they want to be seen, because they do it in such a like public way that they actually want to be seen and like without even noticing do, th do subtle things to actually get caught, that is also a thing. Um. That still doesn't make them good people, in my opinion.
And we have more of this stuff, just a few notes. Detective Bart Fair missing! 45-year-old Detective Bart Fair has been reported missing following a four-day period where he failed to report for work and his wife, Jenny Fair, was unable to contact, contact him. The Chronicle was able to contact Fair's workmate, Hector Chadwick, who has taken unpaid leave in order to help his friend, help find his friend. He's a great copper bard, but he always got far too involved with his work. A man should never put his career first, especially when he has a family. I'll find him. He'll be fine. Detective Fair was a recipient of the Severn Police Bravery Award in 2009, following his famous rugby tackle of a knife-wielding maniac at Birmingham Moor Street Station. Or very busy, that's actually... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I believe you're missing some evidence, Mr. Black. I know. Are you sure you found everything? I am not, and I didn't want to move on yet, but you mentioning that actually makes me want to move on. What's your problem? I won't tell you where I am. You need to back the fuck away now. This is out of your hands, and there's nothing you can do about it. So leave me the fuck alone, and just let this run its course. Well, I guess, I guess that's true. I guess that's true. Patricia Bateman. Oh, that's cool. I, am I a psychopath? In case you don't know, Patrick Bateman is uh, is like the main character in American Psycho. That's another mannequin. Another incident report. Possible homicide in an abandoned warehouse. Our informer Jared Porter claims that the weapons he was arrested with were produced by ADS and he obtained them with uh, the help of an ADS employee called Jay. Uh, Jay. Porter doesn't know... Jasper Prado? Porter doesn't know this person's full name. Seems like Porter, a big name in the local arms trafficking business, worked in the close cooperation with a big and esteemed arms contractor. Okay. Yeah, I definitely heard gunshots. Well, I, I heard loud bangs. I guess they were gunshots, because the guy was shot, right? Anyway, I was out walking Cujo, my dog, at around 5 a.m. My wife's a heavy sleeper. Cujo's always needing the shit in the morning, so yeah. Sometimes I take him out for a walk. So yeah, I, I was walking down Pump House Lane and into the fields when the shots were fired. I like these little references, Bateman and stuff, and Cujo. And in case you don't know about that, Cujo is a novel and also a movie based on that novel by Stephen King. And it's about a dog, about a murder dog, basically. Oh yeah, I had that one. Uh, I think that's all. Black, I've been reviewing the data. Though you've been thorough in gathering evidence, your pursuit of supposition has sadly rendered this investigation useless. I'm pulling you out. No, Red, not yet. I'm so close. Things just disappearing. That's a very cool effect. <clears throat> oh, what? It kind of reminds me of Super Hot right now. Enough. Enough of this nonsense. You pulled 
me out. Like I said, you began making assumptions. The Pandora is neutral, Black, and so must you be. Maybe you really were there to save Jasper. But the moment you assume that to be true, you corrupt the simulation and cast doubt over the memory. If you continue to do so, we will not be able to proceed. Maybe I don't want to proceed. Oh, I think you do, Mr. Black. You wouldn't be here if you didn't want answers. <sighs> Zemax, you made two very specific statements that don't conflict, but it depends on your worldview which one you you like believe in more than the other. Because they don't conflict, that they, but they depend very, very much on your view, like what you prefer to, to see. You said... Uh, if you kill a murderer, the amount of murders in the world would stay the same. But also, if you stop a murderer, you save more people. Both are true, but like... Do you want to stop them or do you not want to stop them? That's why you need to kill two. Okay, I didn't read that part. Let's try a different approach this time, Black. Different and approach. and, and like by, by stop, I mean kill. I yeah, yeah, yeah. Before, you want me to try again? To save Jasper? I don't want you to try anything, Mr. Black. Everything is prepared for you. Just relax and explore. Yeah, sure. I think we've seen all of these last time. Yeah. Yeah, this one too. Okay. Okay, and we have another one of these photos. But this one just leads me back to the hub area, which I don't care that much about. Okay, a lot of stuff to read again. I talked to Ben and Eric and th I thought I made it perfectly clear. The bad apple needs to be removed as soon as possible. We can't take the risk. Like I said on the phone, this is delicate. So that's why you said it on the phone, huh? If you work for me and you follow my orders, you can't handle that. If you you work for me and you follow my orders, if you can't handle that, I will f I find someone else. No mucking about. Listen, it's me. You need to tell me where the fuck you are and what the fuck is going on. You've got a lot to answer for, you know that. Call me back the second you get this or there'll be consequences. A real life battle royale with murderers as uh, like participants. You read it? Yup. What you think? Ain't happy, the guy's a snitch. Yeah? But I'm not sure about putting him, putting him in the ground. If we don't, Buzz is gonna fucking kill us and his missus is gonna dance on our graves. I know. Come on, we... We do this together, mate. Get rid of the problem and forget it. I, 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 not gonna lie, I have no clue what that statement is supposed to mean. I'm sorry. Jasper Prado, victim or culprit? First it was the corpse, a dead body found in the warehouse near Route 10. Now, for the first time, we investigate who it really was, by Brian Scott. First it was the corpse, a dead body found in the... Then we learned that victim's name was Jasper Prado. Now, for the first time, we investigate who he really was, an innocent man who was the victim of a psychopath, or a cold-hearted cl criminal who got what was coming to him. Since being discharged from the military over a decade ago, Prado returned to the country in where he immediately began contributing to what would become a substantial criminal record. Just four months before his death, he was arrested for drug possession. Was his death drug-related, or did his lifestyle become too much to handle? The police have yet to officially rule out suicide.
Yeah, Aminox, there are a lot of holes to pick in to that statement. I I just didn't even want to attempt to get into it. For example, what if uh, a mur someone kidnaps you and uh, happens to also be a murderer at the same time, and you manage to escape and, uh, by accident or on purpose, who knows, um, kill that person? Are you a murderer then? Or even if it's, or or like even more like if it's in self-defense, like you're trying to escape, that person's trying to stop you, whatever stuff happens, is that all? Are you then still a murderer? Maybe technically, but are you? So I don't know. It's it's kind of a. It's kind of a. Thing where it's up to, personal definition almost sometimes, in some cases. So it's kind of a hard thing to to generalize. Hello, Percy. Uh, we are talking about murderers. Uh, do you have an opinion on them? <laughs> yeah, exactly, Minox, and that's basically well, not what you're saying is what I'm trying to say, but, like, you having to r write all of this is basically confirming my statement that this is a topic that you cannot really generalize. This is not a thing that you can just, like, put a label on and that's it. Like, it's, it's, it's a bit more complicated than that. That's, like, a whole discussion of its own. Maybe not a big one, but a discussion. <laughs> Versus crime in the warehouse. Yeah, exactly, I agree. The corpse of a man in his 30s was found in an abandoned warehouse this week, and yet nobody has the slightest clue regarding the victim's true identity by Brian Scott. Again, Brian, what's up with you? Detective Chief Inspector Edwin Hughes had this to say. It appears that the victim was shot from close distance, but we've yet to establish how long the body was there prior to, prior to its discovery. The autopsy is, is scheduled for Friday. No specific details about the victim's identity have been released yet, but a source close to the investigation and claims... No specific details about the victim's identity have been released yet, but a source close to the investigation and claims this was a drug-related crime? That sentence feels very wrong. Shell. The place is known as the Shell. It's an abandoned warehouse about half a mile from the gas station on Route 10. It's not a Shell station and probably never was. One local myth uh, suggests it gets its name from the numerous Shell casinos found in the warehouse over the years. Uh, the place certainly looks like it witnessed its fair share of killing. Thanks for nothing, but we can see the name Prado Jasper again. H19. Wait, when was that? In 75, okay. No, the date of birth was 75, okay. Letter of application. Dear Lieutenant, Lieutenant Prado, it is my pleasure and privilege to ex express my appreciation for your contribution to the success of Operation Grapple. You and the other members of your division did an outstanding job of securing the forward position, setting up and establishing communications, and coordinating the movement of, of follow-up forces. Without your dedication to duty, Operation Grapple would not have been the success that it was. Congratulations on a job well done. And the photo depicted the place, the out so do outside stuff. place. You just lost your way, Black. That's all. My reading suggests the majority of that memory remains unexplored. Focus this time. Assume nothing. Explore the memory in full. <laughs> Relax and explore. Very good, Mr. Black. Relax and explore.
This looks different. Oh my god, lag, lag. Okay. Okay. This is exactly the same memory as the last one, just a little earlier on. We need a clearer understanding of exactly what happened. Understood. This memory is a little temperamental, Mr. Black. I would advise Lag! going in guns blazing. Try not to get filthy, hey, Mr. Black. Very Too late. And all because you can't shut up, like, this is actually starting uh, to get annoying. Not like actually, like, I don't mind me some lore. And it's, it is definitely interesting. But like, and there is Jasper on the right. But like, you know, at some point I also want to play. And so far I haven't really been able to play today. Maybe I should switch this to, uh, where is it? Vision? Yeah. Come play with us. What, what do you have to offer? What should I play with you? Cat ears? Will do. Oh, there's... Oh, I guess I have to go there then. Oh, okay. I have no clue. I was actually um, kind of worried that when they noticed me that the whatever they were shooting at would also notice me, but that didn't happen, so I have no clue. By the way, normally, sometimes, I'm thinking like maybe I should remove this, cha <coughs> this chair from here. It kind of... I mean, it is useful to me personally, obviously, but like on stream it does nothing in terms of decorative value or anything, so I'm sometimes thinking like maybe I should remove this, but then I'm also thinking it can hide stuff behind it, and uh, right now it has these bad boys behind it, and that is the backside, don't worry, but like these bad boys are behind it right now, so why not just keep it? Oh wait, that is an actual ice cream thing, Percy? I didn't know. Yeah, but if I move, for example, for example, I, I switch back, I switch to just chatting and I turn on the light and I stand up or whatever, I don't know, stuff can happen. And this way I am completely 100% safe. I don't want uh, nip slips on my stream. And let's pull the camera a little higher, so that you can actually see the whole glory. There we go, that's good. <laughs> Look, my first ever spin was on stream, the one where I was drunk and fell down, that was, I think that was the first one, right? Anyway, the first spin that I ever did on stream was my first spin. All the spins I did on stream were all the spins I ever did. I, I never did them in private or anything. I'm not good at it yet, but I am kind of almost practicing, so, you know? Tornadoing. <laughs> also, by the way, this glass looks too murray. That's 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 too much. That's unrealistically much. Oh, there is something there. Okay. Yeah, I I need to install a pole on my uh on my on my 
Oh, we have a wireframe here, kind of. In my dorm, goddamn. Okay. Where is it? I think it's also still behind me. I guess it will be these black ones again, these same ones, or what, or what do you say? These same ones or different ones? While I am changing. Okay, will do. Oh wait, I still need to get something, wait, but I already have it. Okay. I like them a lot. But, again, my only, like, thing is that I would also like to have some with the length I was actually going for. Because, like, the first ones I ordered were a little too short, and these ones are the second ones I ordered, they are a little too long. Like, not too long in general, I also like this length, but, like, the actual length that would be ideal for me, for my personal taste, I still don't have, and that's the thing I'm trying to get. <laughs> okay, that is a good one, Zmax, that is a really good one. I'll give that one to you. Okay, nice. But what's that on my... Oh, right. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay, Minox, okay. I, I don't know, Zemex. It is whatever you want it to be. <laughs> Okay. Um, I think for this one thing my desk lamp here should be enough, right? Okay. Let's try my best. Oh, wait. Well, this is kind of weird. Wait, let, let, let me at least tuck my shirt in. And this time I also don't have the boobs in. Which should be pretty obvious, because I showed them to you before. I said what I said. Eh, that's at least better. Yeah, see, again. This is the length I have right now, which... My hip is here, like, obviously. And the other ones are about here, like, to my knee. And they reach just above my knee and it's like so close that it actually just goes down all the time so it's kind of below my knee 
you know? And I want the thing, I want some that are like right in between, like about, he, about, about here. That is the length I want. Again, I don't mind these. These are also great, and the other ones are also great. But my ideal length I still don't have. <laughs> Yes, Percy, that's why I said. I said what I said. <laughs> okay, let's try a bit slower this time. Oh, fuck. No, 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 I'm... no. My carpet, wait. Why... I, I, I will practice now, I don't give a shit. That's where a wishlist would work well. By the way, by the way, Minox, um... Ah, uh, shit. Um, are you- wait. Dark, are you still here, Dark, by the- uh, by any chance? <laughs> oh my god, C-Max. Dark, are you still here? Because, um, I actually checked that out, the wishlist thing, and I think I got it down, but I- I want to be 100% sure. Or actually Percy as well. Percy! You're here! That's perfect! Wait. Fuck. Oh, come on. Yes. Percy. You, please. Please, please. I will send you something on Discord. My my Amazon wishlist. Which is... I, I didn't put anything on it. It's still the one with all the books and stuff. This is just my private list. That's just for me to keep track of stuff. So there is nothing like for the stream on it yet. But... Um, I want to send it to you just so you can check if like anything of my uh, if I would share anything of my own of myself like there if I would dox myself basically Please please do that for me Okay I'm actually looking at my floor right now, like next to the carpet I have like actual floor tiles and thinking how slippy this is this carpet already is, I think it would be way worse. I think I would actually genuinely fall down. Oh my god! <laughs> okay, okay, Zmax, I'm actually loving these. Oh wait, there's the other one. I love these. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, let's try again. Yeah? Okay. Wait! No, 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 no. No. Too slow, probably. No, 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 no. Look at all these free skins. Percy! Are you here? Do you listen? I got a very surprised message about the link, so I... Uh, uh, uh. Oh, wow. <laughs> Basically, I sent you an Amazon wishlist. Well, that's my own just private list that I just used to keep track of the stuff that I still want to get, so it's mostly books. Um, I would like to ask you if you could check if I will dox myself if I share that list. Don't forget, don't forget these bad boys, Minox. They are important. <laughs> no. Ah, uh, almost. How did I do it when I was drunk? Like, I actually... How do I do that? I have no clue. Normal socks also do, I guess. I guess. Um, how do I do that? Um, basically check if my address is anywhere, or like if you try to order some, one of these things, like you don't like actually order it, but like put it in your basket or something, just check if my address is anywhere, or like my real name. Oh, the other side works better. Oh. 
I do not, and I remember the first time. I, I actually remember everything from the drunk streams. I Again, I wasn't, like, blackout drunk or anything, but um, the later ones actually, actually worked, didn't they? Oh my god! This is, this is good stuff! <laughs> oh, wait. This is good stuff! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> okay. Yeah, 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 okay. The other side works better. Okay. That's good enough. That's that's good enough. I don't want to get dizzy. I I'm 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 not dizzy yet. I'm not even close, I think. But I think like two or three more and I would actually start to get dizzy, so. Most of today's spins also work nicely. Um, maybe maybe they looked Maybe they look nice. Oh, you can see. Oh, you can see my gamer mark. Uh, <laughs> um, maybe they looked nice. That could very well be. But for me, doing them and feeling it at the end, like at the last like split second, I still kind of slipped. I just kind of saved myself basically. I mean is 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 that really such an such such a special or uncommon thing? <laughs> C Max <laughs> But yeah, it would be I like uh, the 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 thing you chose to uh, to check it out with, <laughs> but like if you continue like basically up until the last step, like basically until you would normally pay, please please check until that. I don't know if that's like the last step or anything, and if you don't see my name or my address, then it's perfect. Then I can share the link, which. I'm saying it again, doesn't contain anything for the stream yet. It is just my own personal list that I always used just to keep track. So you're basically saying that there is nothing. Yeah, so I'm I I don't see anything. By the way, you don't have to send all of these with screenshots. You can also just tell me. <laughs> I'm I'm good with that as well. Anyway, I'll just I'll I'll put my OBS to my second screen again. I will not see whatever you write from now on and I'll return to the game. Write or send. Okay. Can I not, like, aim above, like, over the corner? Wasn't that a thing? I feel like I have to go there, but how? I just now noticed that I can't jump in this game. That is so weird in, in, in a shooting game that you can't jump. Oh my god, that breathing was, like, right inside of my ear. <laughs> now I know what Nell meant recently. Just at everything where you could maybe see a name or an address, but uh, I guess you didn't see any, 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 any of that, any of those things. I hope. By the way, fun fact: when I started streaming, or like when I first set up my uh, uh, my uh, my um, donation thingy, uh, I didn't have a PayPal business yet, so the first like three or so people who donated to me just saw my real name. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that's also a thing. So I want to make extra sure now, because those people I actually knew in real life. It wasn't that big of a deal. But now that more, um, more people I don't actually know are here, I do want to make sure. Uh, 
Oh my god. Oh, I can open the Look from the other side. Oh, okay, I cannot. I d okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I was just about to say. Maybe I should check the map. You're welcome. But yeah, I I I'm I'm what I'm gathering is that you did not see anything. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> you need to send me all of these. I love them. What the hell? The map shows something here. What? Oh. Yeah, okay. Uh, okay, it's a side. I, I, I thought you're actually creative. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I did never think that. What the hell do I have to do? What is this? Um, oh, we have pickup. Um, vision. Ooh! Grenade. How do I throw a grenade? Shit. Creative Googler. Okay, sure. If that's the hill you want to die on. Yeah, this doesn't do anything. And here too, but like... Grenades? I don't have grenades as far as I know. Oh, that's how I... Huh. Interesting. Anyway, um... Um... Let me check the settings, the controls. <laughs> That's it. There is... Oh, advanced. You're not wrong. You are not not wrong at all. The way I said that just now, with that specific rhythm, that a little more melodic could actually be... could actually sound nice. Yeah, there is nothing with a grenade or anything, so I have no clue what to do. I feel actually kind of dumb right now, because it looks like something I should be able to figure out with no problems. Um. Oh, there we go. Okay. I was about to say that maybe I should just like actually check playthroughs or something, but yeah, okay. Continue. 
stop acting like you're in a damn video game. We are so meta. Oh shit. Oh shit. Shit! Oh, you're doing a way better job than I, than me. Believe me. Oh shit! Because you're actually trying. You know? That's already worth a ton if you actually try and just keep trying and... You know, if you stay on it, it will happen. Oh shit. Ha. Ah. There we go. I will try to fix it. In the meantime, I'm sending you a picture. I need you to use it to exit. Oh my god. Okay, that that is actually a good one. Damn. Oh, or I pressed the wrong button again. Um Oh, wheels are in motion. Okay, cool. Okay. Mm, I will try to contact someone else maybe. Who is online? Where is she? There. Oh, hello Angel. Welcome back. Welcome, welcome. Um Mm, anyone else who could be online? Oh, maybe, maybe this guy. Yeah, I guess I contacted two people. And I hope... Um, I hope they will answer. And I will keep Discord open on my phone just to have these updates if they come. Okay. Okay, in the meantime, I will continue playing. Wait, I thought I have to do this now. Hmm. Please don't give me your heart, then you would have none, and you would just be... Oh, this is the hop area again. And, uh, you know, that is sad. That would be very, very sad. We don't want that. Nobody wants that. Oh, I actually have to go there. Find a picture with binary code. I didn't even read the objective. That was kind of dumb. Anyone else? Okay. Oh wait, this is So I'm this filing cabinet again, aren't I? But what were these? Weapons, Mr. Black. A personal armory, if you will. I thought you said I shouldn't kill. Something about distorting memories. The more evidence you uncover, the less we risk distortion. You're saying that I need to collect all the evidence for each board. That's up to you, Mr. Black. But if you do, the memories become more stable, which means I can reward you with a new toy every now and then. Fair enough. Yeah, I was just about to say, like, is this the amount of weapons that this game has? Am I really just, like, one... how many are there? One-eighth through the game? 
Which I guess I'm not since I've uncovered way more. And we have, okay, 38% is not that much, but like 82, 96, 55, 76. So yeah, I guess I am about maybe one third through the game, which checks out with what I said before. Maybe more even, who knows. Oh no, Angel. No! No! I would never give it away. Zemex, you are not useless. You are bringing us all joy. And you are bringing me interaction with a chat. And on top of joy and everything, you are not useless. Even just purely from this stream's perspective, you are already not useless. And then I can't imagine what else is going on in your real ah, life that makes you so useful. Seems to have stabilized. Proceed. Hello? So how do I? Ah. Oh, that that feels so weird. Ah, there. Okay. Okay. Oh, fuck! Percy! These are not positive vibes. Who got whom? What did you say? Sure. If that's what you're into. See, Angel has the cr has the right spirit. See, with Angel, food never gets wasted. Ah oh, shit! Angel is actually contributing. Okay, I got an answer. Okay. Okay, that was 
an amazing moment for me just now because I actually had some surround sound. I actually heard that person going around me and I knew vaguely where it where where they were. That oh my god. Holy shit, that makes me appreciate these things so much more. <laughs> Again, thank you so much. Yeah, see? Yeah, absolutely, Minox. Absolutely. Where are you? Oh no, I didn't want to I didn't want to switch the weapons. I thought it was ammo. Yeah, rice is good. I I like rice. But looking at rice is not as interesting as looking at meat, I guess. Like a nice good chunk of meat. I I I I like some nice meat. Why don't you do it, Percy? <laughs> I am actually getting even with them enemies, and I, and I don't actually um, play uh, first-person shooters that much. Even though I would like to, it is a fun genre to me. Um, but I don't know. Are there like even any like? Are there even like that? I don't know. Like. I don't know. Sometimes I get like the urge to play like an FPS, just shoot around a little and stuff. Um, but I, yeah. What am I? Where am I even going with this? Yeah, I don't know any. That's basically what it comes down to. Uh, of course, we have like uh, stuff with like RPG elements, like Bioshock or whatever. Uh, not RPG, but like fantasy elements, or like Bioshock or whatever. But I mean like these sort of grounded, where you just shoot stuff, COD, Battlefield, that kind of stuff. Like, what else is there? I don't know. So yeah, that, that kind of stuff is actually fun to me. I just never find any, I guess. Which is, by the way, also a thing I really want to try out in VR is an, a first-person shooter. Which is why the newest Medal of Honor game is on my wish list, even though that one's supposed to be not too great. <coughs> but, first of all, it's Medal of Honor. In case you didn't know, my very first game that I ever played, or my first gaming memory I ever had, is of Medal of Honor Underground on the PS1. And secondly, it's an FPS. So, yeah. Yeah, Doom Doom is great, Doom is amazing, but that's not the type of FPS I mean. Doom is very much over the top. You literally go to hell, you rip these things apart and stuff. I mean just a normal, casual, grounded... Well, sorta grounded, like it can have some, some, some sci-fi aspects, but like generally kind of grounded uh, FPS. Oh, you have worked at a slaughterhouse. Oh, I did not know that. But I would say. To the general public, uh, I think a sack of meat would be more interesting than a sack of rice. Maybe not to yourself, but to the general public. Which, by the way, lines up with uh, psychology and stuff. You yourself don't have uh, that view of yourself like others do. You yourself may or may not, in this case I think you are, be more, way, way more critical than anyone else. Which is uh, which kind of lines up with you saying you're a sack of meat, but at the same time saying you don't find sacks of meat very interesting, in contrary to everyone else. Hello, Lulu! We are talking about 
being useful. And by the way, that person answered me and told me that there is nothing. Oh. Okay, so what I'm seeing right now, that person has checked, has gone over it, and apparently there is no address. So it's just stuff you would order, but like... Yeah, there is no address. So I guess, like, there is no private data of me at all. <laughs> so even then, there is a little too little private data of mine, I guess. Yeah, I need to look into it, how to, how to actually set that up. Halo Mass Effect? That's a little too sci-fi. But yeah, that's that's more like it. Even though Mass Effect is not FPS, that's third person. And Mass Effect is also like a massive thing, like an actual RPG wall where you have like a massive world where you have a lot of dialogue and everything. That's also not quite what I mean. If it comes to third person, uh, for example, Spec Ops The Line was outstanding. Uh, yeah. Okay, Minox, that is actually that is actually a fair point. <laughs> okay. Oh, Jared Porter. Traffic, Class C drug pos possession, ex possession of explosives in suspicious circumstances. Why is that in two lines? Possession of firearm with criminal intent. Additional information. On the 4th June 2015, Jared Porter signed the seven police informant working agreement new profile filed at number third sixth 2015 ben, co ben called me saying that we're all fucked pigs I got jared and it's only a matter of time they get the rest of us i said third sixth because i don't know if they use the correct way aka third june or the American way, so I'm not even gonna try. Okay, they used the correct way. Okay, 5th June 2015. Jared came to me saying nothing about being arrested, acting like nothing happened. When I told him what Ben had told me, he said uh, Ben was just tripping. No pics were onto him and um, he just went to London for the day. I'm fucking positive that something's off. And if pics have Jared on their leash, we can't trust him anymore. Oh. Please. Just, oh! Just hear me out. What do you want? You're here for Jasper, yeah? They've got him back there. And why are you here? They locked me up because I was helping him out, but I only did it out of fear, I swear. I've seen him kill people just for disagreeing with him. Please. Please. If you leave me here, they'll kill me. Um, I mean, what am I supposed to do? <clears throat> okay, so that person is actually helping me a lot and is actually looking into it now. That is amazing. So I guess next stream there will be a public wish list. I hope. Probably not one with articles for the stream. I don't know. But there will at least be one. Oh wait, this is evidence! Um, um, no. There. No. Shit. There. Match found. Jared Porter. 
Wow. Uh, yes, by the way, Zemex, I forgot to mention, I, I forgot to say, Far Cry generally, yes, but Far Cry is open world. I mean, just purely linear, just like, I don't know, five hour thing where I can just go through and just shoot random people and whatever. Just, just like, you know, just shoot a little. It's also not something I would probably play on stream, it's just like, for me, per personally. So while yes, Far Cry comes closer, it is also like too, too, too much. I love Far Cry, don't get me wrong, at least Far Cry 3 and Blood Dragon, which are almost the only ones I've played, but you know. Jasper's been working under the radar for almost a decade, was in the army in the 90s, where he first made contact with people who now provided the work as a mercenary, got discharged. Likes his recreation narcotics pots cut no jut isn't it said jut and ecstasy makes some money selling it all on the side tends to deal in small amounts to keep a, a low profile unpredictable and erratic but the best merc i know we are you have bone works which i've never heard of but then again i've never like looked into vr games so you know. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, back here. Jasper, he knows and he's coming for you. Meet me back at the mansion. I'm on my way, Rose. Um, Samsung Galaxy S3 be like. He brought me out, Red. There's no pain. I, I can think this time. Red, did you see that? We've got a name and a place. Rose and a mansion. Red. Red? Are you there? Red! <laughs> More like she fin to the charling. Red! Hey! Are you watching? Who's Rose? And where is this mansion? Red! We still haven't finished our investigation into this Jasper business, Mr. Black. What do you mean, haven't finished? We've got a name, a place. Jasper's dead. We need to... I will say what we need to do, Black. You are here at my convenience, and you wear my, my technology. Do not fucking trust me! Nobody crosses me. Okay. Okay, fine. Not yet. Then what do I do? Red, what? I said, what do I do? Oh, never mind. I'll just proceed, shall I? Angel, do you still have that phone from back in the day? Also, no, I never said that. Uh, I actually, like, the Galaxy S3 was my first smartphone. Oh, this is the hub area again. And this very much reminds me of Outlast, like this very specific uh, look right now. Really? Damn. Wasn't it already pretty old back then? Like by those standards? Art therapy sessions. Art therapy sessions every Monday and Friday at 4 p.m. in Building C. All patients are welcome. Oh my god. <laughs> That's cute. Yeah, my history in phones, spoiler alert, very much Samsung, was S3, S4, S8, and now S20. S8 
Actually, same ZMAX. I have to get up, well, not like extremely early, but I have to get up at around... Wait, when does it start for me tomorrow? Let me check. Yeah, I guess I have to get up at around 8. So I will also end streaming soon. Like, this will not be a long stream. I'm thinking two hours, maybe a little more. Depending on, like, uh, where the game is going and stuff. Why did you do that? What? Well, why did you paint your prosthetic leg black? It's depressing. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Oh, and I was hoping you're cured. I am cured. Your leg was sick. Remember? That's why I had to cut it off. The leg. I know you loved it, but sometimes we have to let go of the things we love the most. Hmm? How's the other leg? She's fine. Bit sad, maybe. Her sister was amputated. They were twins. Mm, I see. So maybe they should be together. Yeah, all right. I'll think about it. Okay, Lulu. Have a wonderful night and thank you for being here. I think at this point, Minox, it's more like a habit for me, uh, rather than, like, actually, like, needing that. I don't know. Like, in the beginning, back when the S3 was new and the S4, Samsung was, like, top-notch, I think, wasn't it? Uh, but right now, with the S8 and especially the S20, like, my current one, I would say I also could have gone with something else. I wouldn't mind that much. It's just, like, habit, I guess. The more I think about the Puppet Master, the more gaps I see in my past, holes in my memories only get bigger. All the moments I can't remember uh, clearly, all the things I've done not having full control over, my own actions. The Puppet Master may look like one of us, but that's just a disguise. There is a shadow on him, a mark under his skin. I see him in my dreams. I've tried to kill him many times, but he just keeps coming. Coming back, telling me uh, that no one can deceive the Prince of Lies. <clears throat> oh, hello. What the fuck was that recording? It, um... I mean, what the fuck is this place? You know? Oh! Oh, I'm here? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh! Almost missed this one. Um... Wicked may not be a medical term, but Stephen's left hand is surely wicked. <laughs> I've read the poems and stories he wrote with that arm, and... Uh, the dread left me speechless. Amputation may be our only option in this case. If your hand makes you stumble, chew it off, the Bible says. What the fuck? <sighs> oh, another one. At first, Dr. Benway was very reluctant towards my idea of bringing art psychotherapy to to Lithurst, but now he finally seems to be satisfied with the results. I've, I've genuinely surprised with the progress patient 219 made in the last two weeks. He always feels guilty about the things he did, but wouldn't go into details, and now he's writing about it. Uh, he's trying to communicate his feelings for the very first time since he got here. I'm making progress, Dr. Amanda Barnes. Yeah, 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 yes. So much yes. Oh, another mannequin. And another one. Most of the inmates I've met uh, talk a great deal about the war. We all have flashbacks of flashbacks of the things we've seen, the things we've done. When I first woke up in my cell, I thought that this is must be some kind of uh, military experiment. 
It certainly feels like one. Making soldiers uh, fake their traumas. Does it fake? Face their traumas. Uh, so is the puppet master our commander in chief? Or are we all... Okay, I need to look that up. Or are we all captives of our greatest enemy? Okay. Patient 803 recently suffered from uh, losing a loved one. His partner was uh, killed during a shooting. Previous therapies didn't work for him, so I think we should try art therapy now. Will we go to the art therapy section now and see what art therapy actually is in this uh, asylum? The puppet master loves both art and artists, but his art is bigger than life. All the uh, people, their plans and dreams hang as if by string over the darkness, over darkness. He chooses who will be saved and who will fall. DK. This reminds me of again of like the main bad guy in um, The Evil Within 2. Oh, hello. <sighs> okay, thank you so much for being here, Angel, and have a wonderful night. Oh my god. I'm sure that wasn't there. Red, how are you doing this? I'm not Mr. Black. You are. An imprecision of the technology. What the fuck? How is that even possible? Mannequins? Oh no. I can't reload, I only have three bullets left. Shit, that was a mistake. Or was it? Can't pick up their- oh. Oh, art therapy. Bio Big John, his best friend. Nice. That is actually what I imagine art therapy to be. That's great. Oh no. Mr. Black. The Pandora can be temperamental. I assure you that all anomalies have now been dealt with from my end. For now. now I'm getting tired of temperamental. We are dealing with a prototype, Mr. Black. View it as fascinating. Not tiring. Yeah, easy for you to say. You're not the one getting shot. Art therapy sessions, and we got a bunch of names. Okay. And uh, that 
Looks like some Silent Hill promo material. Yep. Okay. Will this be creepy? We will see. Let's find out. Lag. Massive lag. Oh, come on! And I can't go back. I wanted to check out the rest. Okay. I guess this is where I have to like go. Like I said, Mr. Black, all actions have consequences. You set a lunatic on the loose and just look what happened. Poor Mr. Keating died because of your decisions. Oh, it's the... um. Oh, it's the Mad Hatter. And he would have been alive if I hadn't released that other person. Okay. That's interesting. I was an English teacher once, a long time ago. A late, I later smoked more than an ounce a day and uh, let it go. Now I'm trapped with all those crazies, with a straight jacket, nothing more. Soon I'll be pushing daisies because they're banging at my door. Okay. The new prototype is ten times better than the previous one, but there is still lots of work to be done before it functions efficiently. The participant of my experiment was astonished with the results at first, but after spending 15 minutes in the virtual memory, he started showing first symptoms of cyber sickness. He was disoriented and horrified, and 5 minutes later and 20 minutes into the experiment, he started vomiting, so I had to abort the whole thing. At least he survived. I'm exhausted, but nothing will stop me now. I'm too close to stop working now. Reminds me of an Assassin's Creed comic. Which, yes, I've also read most of. His brain is damaged, but there is still a good chance of pulling this off. The temporal lobe is entirely unimpaired. You should survive the review, please face the review phase at least, so I'm hopeful of finding out exactly how much he knew about what happened to Grace. By the way, Minox, did I comment on your, like, Finn and Rose comment? I wanted to say something, but I think I forgot. Anyway, late answer, I guess. Haha. <laughs> Sorry. I forgot. Okay, just a few bullet points about someone. I need to fix this. I will not accept what happened to my daughter. Nor will I live with a wife who holds me responsible. I will find whoever did this. So Lenore will see the truth. So she will forgive me. And so things can go back to the way they were before all this. Okay. But, um... What do I do now, and where do I go? Where did you come from, where did you go? And so on. I mean, that's where I came from, right? I don't have to go there, do I? But the music is coming from here. No, it's coming from... Oh! Oh! Something messing with the electricity. I think now I have to. Okay. Right? No. Huh? Do I have my phone? I do. Okay, then it's probably. You have a new text. 
Art therapy sure has helped me. I painted you. Um. Uh, I painted you getting fucking killed over and over again. He was just trying to make ends meet, guarding a goddamn car car park. I'm in the bathroom. I'll be right there. That's the last text I got from him. He I had waited for six hours until somebody found his body. Somebody once told me. I, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh. DNA found. One matching profile. Lenore Ramsey. A new text. This world is such an abode that if those present, that if those present here. Uh, have their wits entire, they will never weep for their for the absent ones. Karaoke stream. Let's do the cooking stream first, shall we? Oh! We have more evidence somewhere around here. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Match found. John Keating, a teacher reported missing in 2011. Okay, now I can move on. There we go. Hello Rob, is everything okay? You're not picking up the phone and we're all worried sick. Your team is amazing and I know they're working night and day, but we clearly need your guidance in order to have this device ready to hit the market and become the success it deserves to be. We need to minimize all the symptoms of VR sickness testers are getting and fix the major bugs prior to release. Please communicate with us, we can't do this without you. On the scene when it happened, why was he there at Cold Black? Jasper Prado murdered just hours before the explosion. Was he involved somehow? Jared Porter, questioned by police in Prado's case. What does he know? Roger Howard, surely wouldn't stoop to so low. We'll need hard evidence before moving against him. Cole Black was investigating Grace Ramsey's kidnapping. Claims he tried to solve this thing on his own but failed or perhaps wanted to fail. History of addiction to prescription opiates uh, would often lose grip on reality. Claims he has no memory of investigating Jasper Prado and Rose Atkins. Can't recall that he knew the people directly involved in the kidnapping. To what extent should he be trusted? I didn't know that Finn was related to Scott Atkins. Silent Hill 2 be like. And we got another, another one of these memories. I've changed her four times in the last three hours. She will not stop. Please can you take her? I need to lie down for a moment. Well, sure, but I thought we agreed to do this together. I just need to lie down. Thirteen children and a teacher died in an accident. Thirteen children died in a horrible accident on the M40 motorway near Warwick. It was just after midnight on the 18th of November when a minibus crashed into a maintenance vehicle. Eleanor Gray, 35, was the teacher who was driving the bus transporting 15 children home to War War Worcestershire. I think that's how you say it. From a school trip to London, she fell asleep at the wheel before the minibus struck a 12.5 ton Bedford motorway maintenance lorry and later exploded. Oh, Master of Science. Uh, 
Um, I get, I, I'll do both anyway, so... Oh, it's another choice of two. Yeah, I'll do all of them anyway, so... Hi, Mum. Lenore and I were wondering if you wanted... What? It's me. Your son. Calm down, Mum. It's fine. Everything's fine. Yes, that's right. Are you okay? <sighs> right. Um, no, no. No, it's fine. It's fine. So, Lenore and I were wondering... This doesn't even connect there, so... Okay. <clears throat> oh my god, congratulations, Rob! It seems like only yesterday we were uh, making up excuses to not... To not uh, finish? Oh shit. To not finish our science degrees and go to India instead, and look at you now. A serious scientist, a husband, and a father. Give Lenore a big hug from me. All the best for you two and to Grace. As you know, I'm not really experienced in buying stuff for children, but I hope this angry looking bear won't be too terrifying for her. Take care, James. Okay. This also doesn't connect there. Wait, how do I get there? The hell? Anything to explore here? No. It's just the kitchen. Let's just try to... No, okay. Oh! She's hungry. Can you bring me a bottle, love? I think it's in the kitchen. I've got a PhD in neuroscience. I think I can manage it. Come on, don't be like that. Okay, now I think uh, we got all... Still no. There must be something in this kitchen. Oh! Yes! Anyone who says they slept like a baby clearly never had one. <laughs> ah, there we go. Oh, look, she's trying to talk to you. Adult brains, I understand. But this, this is just incessant, incoherent garbling. <laughs> what on earth is she doing? Oh! Damn. Is this the room? Oh. Oh. Gears, yeah. <laughs> Wait, yeah, gears, actually, like a manifold garden. Oh, that's what you mean. <laughs> Fair, fair. Even though they don't connect in any way. But they look nice. Actually, these ones may connect. No, not really. It's just there to look cool. And to look like it could possibly work, but doesn't. Actually, some of them do connect. Anyway. I want to know what all this is about. Give me so this. So the doctor said that mum can't distinguish between the past and the present. It's all jumbled together somehow. How can a person forget so much? Why can't they help her remember? 
Oh boy, you have a lot to learn. And you sound older than me, so... Next memory or not? Oh! Oh! Very cool. One moment she wanted to know why I wasn't in school. The next she was crying and complaining about her son who never comes to visit. You were there every day. Whether she remembered or not. You were there for her. How can a person just forget? I should have helped her remember somehow. I should have found a way. You did everything you could. She loved you very much. Remember that at least. Mom, why is Daddy so sad? He's worried about your gran, my love. He's just worried, that's all. I will wait this time because I think the music is actually tied to that. Yep, see now it got quiet right as I reached this. Before I, I went on this, on this thing already and then I started the memory while the music was still loud. Rose Atkins. I really don't see why you hired this one. She doesn't ever seem to know where you are. She won't put you on the phone. She's a good assistant, Lenore. Huge potential. Give her time. I'm sure you'll walk to her. Just keep an eye on her, will you? I don't trust her. Grace said you promised to help with her science homework. Oh, shit. I'm, I'm just... C can you help her tonight? Do you mind? Fine. I've got this presentation first thing in the morning. I really feel like I'm on the verge of something here. This would mean so much for us, for the family. You understand, don't you? I like how the gears are moving. Even though... Check these out, like the bigger and smaller one that are connected. <sighs> You know, it's not that hard to make gears that actually work properly. Like, the size is correct, it, it checks out. Or it looks like it does. No, it doesn't quite. <laughs> I can't refund anymore, I've, I've been playing it for five hours. <laughs> but yeah, actually, literally unplayable. When's Dad coming home? God knows, my love. Maybe we should ask Rose Atkins when he'll be home. Maybe she'll even set up an appointment for us. You don't like her. I don't trust her. You don't trust her? Or you don't trust Dad? And the last one? Robert, listen. I don't care. You have Grace, and because of that, you have Lenore. But you also have me. And I'm not going anywhere. It won't be long before Grace is old enough to leave home. Until then, there's you and me and the work. For now, that's all that matters. I love you. memories belong to is entirely irrelevant. They do not contain the answers we're looking for. Trust me. Now is not the time to start thinking, Black. Nobody cares about whatever theories you may have dreamed up in that little brain of yours. Now is the time to do as I say. Now is the time to proceed. For you. <laughs> when is not the time to proceed? Time 
to make sense of this mansion Rose's text referred to. I believe she meant Bertarelli Hall. Ring any bells? Should he? The Pandora will let us know either way. I've left a photo out especially. Focus on it and let's see what happens. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, the door closed. I cannot open it. Okay, sure. I think this is actually a very good point to end the stream. Because next time we will then go into the next area, see all of these... Actually, let's read and examine these first. Eric, is that you? Fuck, my head is killing me. I was out with Rose. I tell you, that girl is one fucking surprise after another. Who would have thunk a girl like that would know how to party? She's pretty messed up, though, man. Proceed with you know, proceeding, that's yes. You were joking about before. Yeah. Yeah, that. I'm serious. Yeah. No, actually, I'm not gonna do that now. Because I'm suspecting, uh, if I saw correctly, this uh, the autosave symbol appeared as I went in here. So next time we will get that little recap, hopefully, of this person talking to me and kind of refreshing my memory. And then we can read all of this and listen to all of this and then go into the next memory. I think this sounds like a good, like a better plan than doing all of that now, going into the memory and then next time not knowing what's even going on. So, yeah. When will I be back? I think streams will get uh, less at this point. Uh, university is picking up again, and it's picking up good. So, yeah. I will still be streaming at least once a week. Maybe more. Who knows? Um, but that's my plan. Like, th that's the very least I want to do is once a week. Um, for now, it still looks good. But, you know, just so you know for, like, the future, maybe. Yeah, exactly. But that's, like, you know, once a week, two hours time... I can spare that, you know, no matter how hard it is. I can take a break at some point. And this is my break. This streaming is my private time. This is my hobby. So that's my logic behind it. I do want to be live at least once a week, even if it's just for two hours. This is some. This is the time that I can actually spare. This is my time. So, yeah. But will it be more than that? Can't tell. But for now, I can definitely say that I will be back on Saturday. I'm very sure. Saturday, 100%. Before that, probably not. We will see, but probably not. Um, but maybe it happens like today that I will actually be done with my stuff and actually do have some free time. So we'll just see. But yeah, Saturday is the plan for now and we will continue with Get Even because I actually want to go, want to get through this game. Um, so far, I like it. I like the story, I like pretty much everything about it, but I feel like I would personally have liked it more if I had played it in private, because there is a lot to read. And as I keep saying, reading out loud is fine, but reading so much out loud is tiring, and I don't enjoy it that much. Which is also why I skipped some of the texts last time, because it just got too much. So yeah, I think this is one of those games that I would have enjoyed more if I had played it in my own completely private time, aside from streaming. <laughs> it would be funny. But, but the story is definitely interesting and I am curious where it's going. I just hope that... Well, I low-key hope that it will end soon, just because there is so much to read, and it doesn't it doesn't look like it will get any less, you know? So that's my main reason for hoping that it will end soon, but it will probably not. It will sp probably fill, like, two or three more streams, at least. That's what I'm thinking realistically. Anyway. That was Get Even. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining. Have a wonderful night, and uh, yeah, goodbye.